So you'll see our rover during its first drive on Earth. Um, we are a six-wheel drive, so with one motor for each of the six wheels that move us forward and backward. Um, and our four corner wheels are able to steer. So that's 10 actuators total. But with only eight motor control cards, we can't drive and steer at the same time. So if we ever want to turn, we have to steer the four corner wheels in place first and then drive a longer path. Um, so we can turn in place or drive along fixed curvature arcs and all at a top speed of 0 0.01 miles per hour. <laughs> so not very fast. Uh, we also did a steer actuator checkout. So I mentioned each of our four corner wheels are able to turn. Um, we commanded each of those four wheels through a 30 degree range of motion while monitoring motor performance and suspension angles. And it went really well in certain cases better than we expected. We saw some performance, but in some cases was better than we've seen on earth driving in the Mars yard. And whether that's from the underlying terrain or you know the Mars gravity, we're not entirely sure, but it worked beautifully and we were so excited to move on to the first drive. So if we go to A3, you'll see what our first drive actually did yesterday. So uh, our plan, which executed perfectly, uh, was to first drive four meters forward, that's about 13 feet, uh, make a 150 degree turn to the left uh, counterclockwise, and then back up about two and a half meters, about eight feet, and then during that drive, we took a pause to image the touchdown contact patch on the tires. So where the tires uh, made contact, or the wheels, I should say, where the wheels made contact with the ground when we landed. Um, and also throughout the drive, we took some images from the nav cams and processed them on our VCE to kind of prove that software pipeline that feeds images into the VCE for perception and image processing. So our first drive went incredibly well. If we went, if we go to uh, A4, you can see the wheel tracks that we left on Mars. I don't think I've ever been happier to see wheel tracks, and I've seen a lot of them. Um, and this is just a huge milestone for the mission and the mobility team. Like we've driven on Earth, but driving on Mars is really the ultimate goal. And just. So many people I can't even count have worked towards this very moment for years. You know, whether they worked on designing and building the actuators, um, the newly redesigned wheels, the motor control system, writing this incredibly intricate mobility flight software, or spending days and nights in the test bed in the Mars yard testing, debugging, and retesting the mobility system to make sure everything works together. Like this is this is really what we've been working towards, and it's just amazing to see. I, I don't think the team could have been happier. So, you know, looking ahead, we're going to do some longer drives. This is really just the beginning.